Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today, we are we are up against the wall, to be honest with you. Today, we're going into round two, playing our TGC Tours CCK Tour. Um, currently, the cut line is let's 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 check. I think it's four under. We are sitting with a tough first round of only two under. Um, which is not too good for the program. Let's take a look at some updated updated cut line. Okay, the projected cut line is four under. I need to at least shoot two under. I, I, I've shot eight under on this course before, and it's doable. It's so doable. So we're just going to give it a shot. I've done a, done a quick warm-up round with the boy, Zaddy the Batty, and we're just going to get right into this here. First, first tee is really gettable. It's birdieable every single time. I've birdied it every single time I've played it. Um, you can cut this fairway, so you can actually kind of break this hole. You can go to the other fairway here. It's gonna roll out, give you like a pretty nice shot into the green here. So that's what I'm gonna what I'm gonna do. So I'm just gonna aim far to the right, give myself a good shot in. Okay, perfect, perfect tempo off the off the drive. That always feels good. Off the first tee, um, let that kind of release a little bit. So now we're sitting pretty with 192 into this pin. It's par five again. Pins at the back, so I don't mind rolling this sucker on. It's probably a six iron to be honest with you, because um, I want to get it there. Um, and we're just gonna kind of send it here. Perfect tempo again with the six iron. We're going to see where this guy ends up. Oh, just release a little bit for me. Oh, it's going to be really good. It's going to be eagleable from here. It's 12 foot eagle putt. Um, breaking left to right. It's definitely not a gimme, that's for sure. We're just going to see if we can tap this sucker in. Get in the hole, dude. Let's go. All right. So that'd be an eagle off the top. Um, I, I don't want to have the mental mindset creep in. The demons come back. But I did eagle the first of my last round, and I ended two under, <laughs> which is a tough look. Anyways, what's up, Caleb? Welcome to the stream, baby. Uh, here we go. Uh, so hole number two here, part three. Um, short part three, pin is an interesting location here. Uh, from how I've been playing this one, I kind of just play it straight at it, to be honest with you. I can give it a little backspin, but it's not going to matter really too much. Fast hit it. It's a gray fast, so it won't be terrible. I think I might get kicked in the stuff here. I'm in the heavy rough. All I need to do is just kind of recover here, and I should be... Should be okay. Okay, sit, 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 sit. Oh my god, it rolled forever. Okay, we're gonna have to make a putt here now. No way I missed that, man. All right. It's tough. All right, Caleb. See you then, buddy. Um, okay. Lost one there. That's unfortunate, but we just got to keep, keep pounding it here. Okay, I pulled that driver a little bit. It's perfect tempo, but I pulled it. Should hopefully get a kick back left here. Yep, that'll be good. All right. Good position here. Was not good position last round, so I really need to need to make something work here. I'm going to see if I can hit a sandwich into this. 
just pull this guy back a little bit. Not looking to get fancy on this one. All I'm trying to do is just pop the sand wedge up there just somewhat close. Oh, that'll be great. That'll be great. Okay, this birdie putt should be pretty easy birdie putt. Nice. All right, we'll get our eagle, uh, our eagle back there. Sit in that. Two hundred through three. Not too bad. Fourth hole. Fourth hole. Um, it's a hard driver hole. I usually just try to send it. Um, another perfect tempo, and this one hopefully is going to be able to settle down. It's the only thing on this fourth hole is sometimes it doesn't settle and gets in the rough, but looks like this one's going to work out. Got sloping right to left, just a hair. It's 148 yards, pins at the back. Now, I've played this pin location before, and if you're short, you're so dead. So I don't mind being long here at all. Um, this ball can roll back a little bit, to be honest, as well, so... Perfect tempo again. Definitely going to have the distance. I'm just going to see where this ball goes, though. Okay, that'll be good. It's a birdie putt from there. Um, breaking left to right, just a hair. Nice. Huge birdie there. Huge birdie. Um... <clears throat> Sorry, Caleb, I didn't see your comment. Um, so essentially what, what I'm doing right now is, so I qualified for TGC Tours. I don't know if I told you that, but I qualified uh, last last round. So I shot 20 under through four uh, to qualify. So now essentially what happens is it, the TGC is breaking up into like tours. So the challenge circuit tour is like the entry level tour, like the lowest tour. Within the challenge circuit tour, there's, there's A through L tours. So I'm on C, I got qualified for CCK. So I qualified like the second to last challenge circuit tour. Anyways, now since I have a tour card, you have to make the cut. So through two rounds, there's a projected cut round. Right now it's five or five, four under. The first round I shot two under. So anyways, I'm just trying to make the cut. You have to, you have to make the cut by Wednesday. You have to submit at least two rounds by Wednesday um, to make the cut. If you, d if you don't make the cut, you get demoted, you get a demotion mark, and you, if you get a certain amount of demotion marks, you lose your tour card, so you just, or you don't lose it. You get demoted down one tour. Um, anyways, long-winded, but uh, that's kind of kind of the gist of it, so. Um, so anyways, this is round two, and I was two under through the first round. <laughs> Zach Caleb comments and he goes, I mean, this is like real PGA Tour WTF. <laughs> it basically is, but I love, I'm having so much fun with it. I love it. It's so, it's so fun to like compete on it. Okay, back, back to it here. Hit a good shot there. It gives me a good, good uh, second shot here. This is an interesting hole because you could take driver off the deck um, and I don't want to be long is the only thing. Or I could take a three wood, roll it up, but that's a crazy putt for Eagle. I could try to get close with this. And I think that's maybe what I'm going to do. Maybe it's like a partial driver. It's going to come off a little awkward here. should be perfect I think it's got to sit down oh that's a great great bounce there well actually that bounce really caused it to stop there yeah I know I know you can't hear Zach Caleb I turned him off just because I'm gonna put it in the in the YouTube video and sometimes whenever I put it on YouTube it um, whenever I play it back on Twitch art his voice like party voices like cut out it's like it's like crackly anyways He said, I'm just a burden. All right, so this guy's breaking a little bit. I, p 
pulled that, as you can see with that path there. Okay, I just I just need this to sit. It rolled out a little more than I would have liked, but so we're going left. I mean, sorry, we're going right, and then we're going left, and then we're going right again. So I think this is maybe like a cup this way, maybe not even. Okay, that was just a, it just needed to be a confident stroke there. All right, we're six under through five. Um, I guess four under through five on this round, but. Okay, uh, this hole is a hard pin location because it's kind of seated at the back. Um, if I shoot a six iron in here, six iron should roll a little bit. But a five iron kind of looks spicy. I think I'm just gonna play for the six and let this kind of roll out a little bit. I can put a little bit of fade on it, but not a lot. For this one, I'm just I'm just looking, honestly, just on the green. I missed it in the first round. So here, I'm just looking for this. I can release a little bit. Okay, that'll stay put. So at least gives you a birdie putt. Um, Nothing crazy. That's not going to stay up, but okay. All right. Not too bad there. I'll take a par on that one. Um, all these par threes are pretty, pretty aggressive. Um, Uh, okay, so this one is interesting, especially with the wind we have here. So there's no wind. This ball's going to for sure roll out uh, into that little creek. So I definitely don't want that. So I think I'm just going to shoot a three wood. This should leave me should leave me like 115 in, which I think is my sand wedge. So this one, I'm just just I'll play a little fade maybe, but nothing nothing crazy. Okay, that'll be really good. Hopefully I can stay on this ridge here. Yeah, perfect. Um, this shot terrifies me. This is one of the most terrifying shots on this course, in my opinion. Um, why, you ask? Because the water on the right, and I always fast it for some reason. So I'm just gonna play it pretty far left here. Yeah, and I slowed it just <laughs> just because I was scared. That'll be okay though. I can go up and down here for par. Lob wedge, it's gonna release a little bit. Oh my God. You went in the water there, Zach, on, uh, on seven. Wh which water, the creek in the fairway or the water on the right? Yeah, it's it's a it's like a easy like it just looks like an easy like drive wedge in, but it's it's a freaking hard hole. Okay, this one on so hole number eight on round one d absolutely destroyed my sh my game. Like I think I doubled this one, and it was because I went for this and was fast on it, and so I really don't want that. So, anyways, this club is two thirty three. And this is 275, which I don't think this club rolls out to. It might. Maybe I can just put a little draw on it. Hopefully this won't roll out. Yeah, it shouldn't. Okay. So this is a good position rather than trying to go over. Yeah, it'd give me a better shot in, but I'm not. I'm not really missing out too much on it. So we're looking at 26 feet up here. Nine iron. I don't mind being long here though. As you can see, I pulled that in the path there. If this guy can just sit. Yeah, that'll be good. Okay, now we're looking at putt here. That would be awesome to make.
break in for me, dude. <sighs> A little lip lipper there. A little lipper there. Okay. So now we approach the ninth, and the ninth here, uh, there's a creek on the left. Um, one thing about this creek, though, is if we look at this, the ledge here actually slopes back to the fairway. Um, so if you're, like, really on the left of this, um, you'll be okay. Now, I will say, I'm not going to be reachable on this, so I'm wondering if it's worth just laying up and trying to just put a dart in there. And I think that's what I'm going to do, actually. Slowed it a little bit, but I'm going to still be in the fairway. That was definitely the move, because if I slow that driver, I think I might be in the water on that one. But anyways. Okay, so yeah, this is a really terrible pin location. If you are long at all, you're dead every time. So I think this is a lob wedge. And if we can get a great bounce on this, it should be should be really good. And I fasted a little bit. It's gonna have to go. Okay. I'm not looking to make this. All I'm looking to do is just get just get a par here. Um I do not want to be long in this putt, and I don't think I will be, but I want to get it there. This thing's moving quite a bit, too. Should be perfect speed. Oh! Almost made it, too. Like look how look how close I was to this lip too, of quite literally just soiling your game. Okay, so that'll be a par. All right, good showing. That's five under through the front nine. Um, can't complain with that. I just gotta I just gotta keep keep playing smart golf. I think that's uh, I think that's the gist here. All right, so hole 10, back nine opens it up with a straightaway par four. And we fasted it. And get some sort of kick. <laughs> That's a break right there. That is a member's bounce break right there. Holy God. Okay. And then whoever designed this course is... A demon with this pin location for sure. Um, I'm just looking to put this close if I can, yeah. It was perfect tempo. I just need that draw to just sit on the pin. Oh my god, I placed it. Okay, this would be a this would be a good putt here if I can if I can get this sucker just dialed right. So it's breaking a tad. Boom, another bird. All right, that'll feel good. That'll feel really good. That was that was definitely placed. Um, okay, so going into 11. 11 is a super, another really gettable par five, um, sometimes eagleable. Uh, the only thing you have to do here is put it in, in the fairway. Um, other than that, you're kind of scrambling. And we've done just that, perfect drive. Perfect tempo. 
So here, now we have a couple choices. Um, and luckily, actually, I forgot that this pin location is in the front here. So pin location is in the front. If I hit a four iron, it could roll up and give me a nice chip. A three iron is going to be too long and it's going to roll. So I think it's a, I think it's just a, a crisp four iron. Yeah, I mean, that's the best. That's the best shot I can do there. See what see what this does if it releases. Yeah, so it'll release a little bit. Oh, it'll just just stick on the fairway there. Um, this is really this is a really eagle eagleable chip here. And I've quite literally choked it. <laughs> But it'll give me a, a tap in birdie. But all right. Hey, I can't complain with birdies. You you can't can't be upset with with a couple birdies. So. All right. Uh. So hole number twelve is a pretty intense par three. Looking at three feet uphill. Um, I just want to get this one there. I've been short and it's not terrible, but I've also been in the bunker and it's pretty bad. Um, so really I'm just looking to get this one somewhat close. Oh, I fasted it and I'm gonna end up in the bunker, I think. That's a little bit unfortunate. Uh, the key on this one is to not go long. Okay, perfect. Left edge, a little, little scary there. <laughs> a little scary on the left edge there. All right. All right. Now we got the driver. <clears throat> this part four is tricky. Again, it's just, you got it. You got to hit the fairway. Um, once once we get up there, fasted it, and I'll still be in the fairway, even though it's a red fast. So this one is an interesting hole, because as you can see, the green here is gonna slope to the left. You almost got like a helping slope, right? So if I can. If I can, what, draw this in, it should hit that slope. I, m I may not even play the slope, though. Um, this 4-iron is going to release, so I have to I have to keep that in mind. A 5-iron... I don't know if a 5-iron is going to get there. I think it might just be like a choked... Like a choked 4. And we got to play this. I don't mind being right, right? So... Yeah, so this should be good. It's drifting a little bit more left than I would have liked, but. Oh, and played off that hill, nice. And then sit, don't go in that little thing. Well, that was a little aggressive of that green there, that little slope. All right, chippable here, super chippable. And I can't make a chip right now. <laughs> I don't know what this is about. I don't know what I don't know what has happened to my chipping, but I am just it's just not not it right now. The chipping is just not it, but okay, so we're gonna approach the fourteenth here. Um fourteenth is scary. What's up, big Cole? Uh, I'm playing my TGC rounds. I have four holes left, so. Okay, so this one is a little tricky here. Um, I've played this out of the sand before, and it's not terrible. That's perfect. 
That's really, really good there, buddy. Just get over. Yep. Okay, so that's going to set me up nice. This, and Cole can't mute his mic, that's for sure. My God. Okay, so pins at the back here. Um, pins at the back. I can take a little bit off this nine iron. Um, I do want it to get it there though, is the only thing on this one. We fasted it a little bit. And I'm going to see where this one ends up. It'll be on the green, but it'll be in the center. So really, I'm just looking to, I'm not looking to make this putt. I mean, there's no way I make this putt, 45 footer, but. I've done some crazy things in my day. So I'm not going to put it past me, but really this one's just, I'm just looking to get this one just close enough. Just, just kind of lag it up there somewhat close. Sit, sit, sit. Okay, that'll be fine. And then here it's just a chip. I mean, not a chip, a freaking putt, but left edge, that'll be in. That'll be good. I'm on the par train right now, but um, can't complain. Birdies will come, birdies will come for sure. Uh, par four here. Uh, this one's an elevated green with the sand at the front. Um, so you just got to put a good shot on this one in the in the fairway here. We fasted a little bit. I wonder if we're gonna get a kick from this fairway. Not, not a big enough kick. Okay, so I really gotta recover on this one. <clears throat> Let's do some numbers here. So this club goes 215. So it's going to carry what? Like 163? I don't really know if that's going to be enough. So I'm just going to play a 9-iron. 9-iron so is going to go up there. So then this one is just a pitch shot. We're just looking to get this one. Looking to get this one close. It should release. Oh, it's perfect, dude. Oh, well, that, I guess it wasn't a... Uh... <laughs> perfect for par. Okay, going into... I believe going into 16 here. Uh, so 16 is, I believe, the last par 3 of the round. Uh, not a lot of hazards here, but pins just right in the center. Um, I don't mind being long here. Ball's going to release, so I think it's a five iron. Okay, we slowed it. A little bit. So we got to think about this shot here. So we could play a splash shot, which is a lob wedge. And I think I think this is going to be the play. Actually, now that I think about it. Yeah, no, I think it is too. OK, 
Okay. So that that released more than I thought it would, which is great. Um, then from there, it's just a part, but yeah, I would like to take advantage of those part threes more because um, I haven't birdied one uh, a part three. But anyways, we'll we'll put it in the back of my mind. Um, all we're looking to hear. Whoa, okay. Uh, all we're looking here to do, looking to do here, okay, is pipe a driver up here. If I can get it past these bunkers, I've been in the bunkers before and recovered just fine. Um, but really, I'm just I'm just looking to pipe this one over here. We fasted it. Just get right. Just get right. Get up. Okay. Heavy, heavy rough isn't terrible. It's not, it's not great, but we got to All we got to do these days is just take what we got. Um, so anyways, I think we're just going to send this puppy up here uh, with the sand wedge. Yeah, I am. Uh, cause I, I didn't include it on purpose cause I'm going to, I'm going to upload this. So this shot. This shot's moving pretty far left or right. It's downhill putt too. Again, all I like to do on these putts is just give myself a chance. Oof! Oof, and I got really lucky not rolling down this hill here, which is unfortunate. Um, okay, now we now we have a pretty hard putt here for par. Um, it's not moving a ton here. Probably, a, I would assume, maybe a cup. Oh, we missed it. That is unfortunate to say the least. Okay, we're gonna lose one there. Um, but 18 is birdieable. It really is. So we're gonna need something to just keep us in contention here. Um, just driver straight away here. Okay. Good drive. Ooh, I really would have liked to not bogey that 17. There, but we will keep it a stack and keep trying here. Three iron, uphill. This is interesting shot because a three iron doesn't get there. Or does it? Right now, I think I'm more confident with my three wood. So I think I'm going to do that. I just got to get the aiming on this one correct. Oh my god, we've, we have sent it. We've sent it to the nether. Okay. So, again, got to look at where this putt's going. Is it going all the way downhill? It's going downhill. And then here we're going downhill. Okay, and this, this putt is, is moving. For sure, for sure. Yeah, we're just looking to get this one somewhat birdieable. Sit down. Just a birdie chance here, another birdie to get to nine under.
Okay, so this one is moving a hair. Okay, that one will drip in. Not a bad round, not a bad round. Um, five under on the front, four under on the back. Um, well, wait, hold on, let me look at that again. <sighs> okay, so that, that'll that put us at nine under um, through two. So I have to shot seven under today, so I, I can't complain about that. Um, let's take a look at the scorecard here. So we eagle the first, fantastic, and then we go bogey, and then three birdies in a row, huge. And then eight we birdie, um, so five under through the front. The back was a little dry. We birdied the first two. We had five pars in a row, which is a little bit unfortunate. And then we can't we can't miss that putt on 17. Takeaways from this round is if I have a birdie putt or an eagle putt, don't go far because a lot of these pin locations, you go far, like three feet from the pin, and you're rolling down, and you have a hard par putt. So. Um, Anyways, not bad. Um, like I said, that'll put me at nine under, which hopefully should get me through uh, the cut. Uh, let's see what the cut currently is. Again, if I refresh here. Yeah, so cut cut's still sitting at four under. Um, with nine under, I'm gonna be pushed. Hope Yeah, I hopefully should be able to get this pretty easily. I'm, I'm gonna be pushed up to tied for 38th. Um, so I will jump up quite a few so I'm tied for 105 right now, and I'm going to jump all the way up to 38th, uh, which is huge. Of course, some of these people have have only played their first round, so you gotta you gotta think like, okay, let's say like worst case, I drop down 20 numbers. I mean, if I drop 20 numbers down from 38, you know that puts me at 58. Um. So hopefully, hopefully, um, we'll be okay there, but. Uh, I will kind of continue to update you guys, you guys here. Um, anyways, yeah. Uh, good showing today on the on the old Delaware course on uh, round two of our TGC Tours CCK Tour. Uh, we're making it through. Uh, we definitely recovered from last time, so I'm excited about that going seven under today. Uh, putting me at nine under, and we'll we'll, uh, we'll check back in soon to see to see what we got. So, anyways, did not mean to start this course quit this. Anyways, if you guys enjoy this type of videos on my way to seeing how far I can make it in the TGC Tours tour, then uh, make sure to drop a like, maybe hit the subscribe button, leave a comment if you are interested. Um, anyways, yeah, I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.